Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Brian from Brian Tech. In today, you'll learn how to record custom data in Eurelit, which is monitoring tool. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let's get started. So let's learn what is Eurelit. We'll start from there. Eurelit is a cloud-based monitoring tool that helps to track various performances, event, and metrics of their services. Okay, so why do you want to record custom data in Eurelit? Here is the reason why you want to record custom data in Eurelit. You may have a service that you need to monitor, but not yet available as a Eurelit plugin. Or your business has a need to monitor health conditions of important services that your company has. There are many ways to capture custom data in Eurelit, but in this video, we learn two of, two of them. Two ways to capture custom data in Eurelit. APM. Program runtime specific functions are provided through Eurelit libraries through command like let record custom event or record custom matrix. So in this case, if you want to use program tools like Node.js, Ruby, or Python, Realytic provide libraries to do that. Second way is through the event API. This is what we will cover in this video, is there is API call to Realytics REST API event API. So first thing you want to do is going to visit Realytic and there's a free version. And then I think if you, as long as you're within the limit, you should be free and it's cloud-based. So you want to sign up by being going to Realytic.com and do the sign up and you should be able to create an account and then start from there. So once you create an account, you'll see a dashboard like this. You can explore different kinds of functionality and plugins that are already built. And uh, for example, we'll go to matrix in event. There are ways to capture the matrix through the program long time and this is where you see your custom data, but you want to explore. But this is courier data is what we will see to where our data will come in. So this is where we see at the end. So we'll go start from there. Now let's shift our gear a little bit and it's trying to explore documentation that explains how to capture event and custom event and attribute and data. Attributes like custom attribute, you can assign it and that's how you really recognize it. So you wanna read a little more about it and then just to do go from there. And you can see this is how we'll be able to get the custom event based on attribute. As you can see, there are different ways to send custom event and attribute, like APM agent, as many I explained earlier. But we what we want to use is event API. So we want to follow the documentation in the event API. So we'll go from there. So this is if you want to explore, you want to do the APM event, Java, Node.js, different libraries are provided. So if you want to explore learning about it and go deeper about it, you can read and then test it yourself. But what we want to get to is event API. So we want to go to event API documentation link here and read about it. And this explains all the details about event API. This is a sample if you want to send a JSON event. This is a how it should be. Um, there you should define event type that's required and whatever data you want to send afterward custom data can be named as whatever but make sure to include event type and if you were to use a curl and then you need to send the zzip which is a compressed uh, version of a zip so that's you need to send as a file that is it in the JSON file as you can see here step one grab license key and account number. So here is a view where you can find API keys when you click your username at the left bottom and click API keys, you'll see this uh, page. So from there are different type of API keys that we usually provided, license, browser, and mobile. You want to create a license key. There's a default one provided already, but you can create a new one if you need it. Um, I think it's better option because the default option I think it is usually for the root user and you cannot delete it. So it might be a good idea to create a temporary license key so you can provide it for your um, application event API call. 
Also, make sure to grab account number and these two values you want to is a good idea to save as uh, environment variable so you can you can mention by mentioning the variable name not by typing directly every single time it's a safer and and is much more convenient in that way so grab your account number and grab your uh, credit or and grab your api license key and then try to export as environment variables step two write a custom data to a file. So you want to write your output or the whatever data you want to capture to a file. So a sample might look like this, output.json. Make sure that your event type that's required is that can be the whatever name you want to call that. So I will call that your custom attribute. And whatever follow afterward, I say just have a one field there, your property. It can be JSON, it can be number, it can be string, but you can have a multiple with them, like uh, with the comma separated. But make sure that that is there. But the most important thing to know is that you need to have the event type. That is what you, in the Neuralytic you can find by querying it. Step three, call Neuralytic event API. We are almost here. So you will type like this, zzip hyphen c output json or whatever the file name, pipe crawl hyphen x post hyphen h, that's header, content type is application slash json and you want to go to next line and our type hyphen h another header and application api api hyphen key the whatever the license key api license key you created and i export as environment variable that's what i'm going to provide it and next i would next line and here another header content encoding because we are going to send this zzip, so we'll do that, and we'll go to the next line. Finally, the API endpoint, which looks like this, insight hyphen uh, collector dot neuralytic dot com slash v1, that's a v1, that's a version, account, and whatever the account number, it's environment variable, I create it, or you create it, and slash, and then events, and hyphen hyphen data, Bin hyphen binary at dash and you will get a response like this that means it's successful step four is the last step check query your data in Neuralytic so we'll go back to our Neuralytic dashboard and select query your data and select all from what the attribute you made it you call that so it might take a little while to see the data coming in and there you go Here's your data. Yeah, you successfully captured the custom data in your little Congratulations. That's it. I hope you like watching this video and be sure to like it.